So in my other video, we talked about uh, different uh, components of API testing where we talked about the endpoints, uh, request body, request headers, um, uh, response body, response status, JSON files and stuff like that, right? So in this video, uh, we'll be talking more about going into uh, first, uh, first script of uh, the get request where you'd be calling through the API, through the automation and get the response. Um, so this is going to be more interesting. So before going this further, uh, if you don't know what the JSON files are, what are the JSON structures, is how to, how to create the JSONs, please go through those other videos, which I have uh, defined uh, very clearly, which would help you understand and going further down this video. Um, also, we talked about uh, different uh, uh, different uh, components, right? You might want to be fam familiar with uh, those com uh, terminologies before you go through these videos, uh, which uh, would be already defined in the components video. Um, so in this video, let's go through this. I have I'll be using this URL as an endpoint URL. This is the endpoint URL, which you don't go through the HTTP, but you could just go through. When you just to copy paste that, this is what you would see, right? So because this is the endpoint, you are only does not look much fancy because that's what the backend is sending the response to you. When you want to test these things, you don't want to just run the browser. You want to just get uh, through the script because that's what we're writing that for, right? Um, if you want to just manually test, you can do this through the HTTP browser, like uh, any any IE browser. You can simply uh, send this URL and then it will send you information. So when you go back to this URL here, uh, it is filtering out for the ID, employee ID 17736. If you go through is uh, employees, uh, then it, it has lots of information, right? That's the work that it is doing in order to filter out the information from this big chunk, right? So that's what it is looking for. Um, so that's what we're doing there. Um, so to test this, we're not doing the manual obviously, right? We'll be writing a script to call this through our GET request and then uh, validate the response. That's our main key. So to make this happen, this is the class that I created. It's just an empty class for now. It is just a test class. Um, I have another enum. Enum is uh, just to where I can define this this URLs. I don't want to hard code this URL. I want to define that inside the enums where I can just pull it in. Um, I have also created this uh, REST utils where I'll be uh, writing most of the util. Excuse me, uh, util uh, classes or methods, right? So let's go that. Uh, first of all, let's start with the enums. Okay. Um, so that's I have this somewhere here. Let me copy this. This is going to be my browser, um, the URL which I'll be calling through my script. So for that, I am creating this enum. So I'll be writing this called uh, get. I'll say just get employee, right? And then I'll say this plus this is a get type. We'll talk more about why I'm doing this because we'll be working with, through the same enums to the post requests and all different type of requests. So that's the uh, an enum I'm defining here. So also, if you don't know the enums, please go through my other video that uh, talks more about the enums, which is in the part of the core Java that I have it uploaded. Um, so here, next thing is out of this enum, this is the enum uh, variable. So out of this, I have. Uh, these two different variables, um, the params, right? It is here. So I'm going to define this each one of this. That's how it will be working, right? So first piece is the URL. Second piece is going to be the uh, request type. Second one is the request type. So obviously, enum will need some constructor, right? So constructor would be. Just do this 
is 10.5 because that's what it is. It doesn't really matter, but okay, 10.5. So this dot. This dot n point type equals n point type. Okay, now let's do, create some getter. Okay, so that's the getter for the URL. I need obviously for the getter, right? So let's copy that for the other one. Okay, so this enum is ready here. So I have just defined this one. We're gonna add more more further down and then we can simply just add this. So this piece won't change further. All I need to just add this. I can just add more as I like, right? Um, so that's all here for the enum. Uh, that will be calling get employee. And when I say get employee, it is just going to pass the, uh, the type as well as the URL, okay? So now we're going to go through the rest utils where we'll be writing some of the helper before we start jumping into the test. So rest utils, first of all, we'll need to write some um, um, request specification because we'll be using the rest assured library, right? So private. So the rest assured libraries are already imported in my palm.xml. If you haven't done so, please go through my other video where I said how to set up through the palm uh, maven. So that will show you how to do that, okay? So we'll be importing this through the uh, rest issue library, which is say rest issue dot specification. Okay, after that, we'll be writing some method here. I want to set the content type. Okay, so here I need to import something called static given. Okay, import. Rest issue dot given. Okay, so that given I need to import. So next thing I need to import is let's just import this. Uh, one second. Import io dot. Uh, rest is here. Okay. Let's over and over. So next one I need rest is here dot. Rest issue dot HTTP dot content type, right? So next one I would need is HTTP dot method. Okay. Next one I would need uh, response. Okay. So this many library I will need it for now. Okay, so when I set the content type, I'll now use given the static method. Content type would be the type that I just passed from here. Okay. So now I need another method, which is what I'm going to define that request to specification. So public So for that I'm going to pass that endpoint where I just created the URL there, okay? 
so base URI is where I'll be saying what endpoint it is going to use equals so that dot endpoint dot get URL is basically nothing but this URL piece right so get URL is going to give me that first piece first part okay so I need to import this obviously right and then I'll need to uh, do the return type for this request okay after that return okay so rest assured is done the request specification is done so I'm done with the request creation Okay, now I'm going to write one another method where we'll be getting the response. So request is done. Now we need to get the response, right? So it would be public. For that, I'll need to pass the request spe specification that I just created here. Okay. Endpoint type, obviously, right? because that's what we're going to know need to know because of these conditions here we were going to switch case that endpoint type so endpoint type right so i want to set this request specification for whatever i'm sending right and then i say response I'll just pass that null for now. So let's do some switch case here. Okay. To the lower case, right? And then I'll say, okay, what are the conditions here, right? So first case is okay, response is. request and then you need to pass what method it is okay okay if it is get is what I'm passing through the endpoint if my endpoint says it is a get type if it is says it is a get type that's what it is going to say okay that's the condition condition is whatever I'm passing because this is the static method which I'll be using in order to get the response so to, to get the response, I have to pass the request specification. Request specification could be my post request, could be just my get request like this, has nothing on it, or it could have anything, right? And then I have an endpoint type. Endpoint type is which is what I'm adding into my endpoints. And endpoint type is going to tell me what type of the URL that is. And based on that, if it is a get, then okay, the method is method.get. Okay, that's what you have to say. So now I'll just break. Now case response equals dot request post. Okay. Now after that break, you can write it in, but it doesn't really make any difference. You can just say okay case. If it is delete, it's the same thing. Okay, it's all there. It's just it's the same thing. Default, you can add logs. It's up to you, right? I'm just going to add this out some message, right? So not a valid and uh, this type or something, right? So after the switch case ended, what you have to do here is you have to then create a log if you want to create the log. So you'd be I have a response there in my hand now otherwise I don't see it right 
then dot log dot status so this is just going to give me the status so it will log me the status of that endpoint request so i need to do another one then dot log Just a second, it's just a little bit slow. Body, right? Then you have to say true, I guess. Okay, after that, you can now just say return. Okay, now the response is there, so it is now happy. Okay, so I have given all three different types of the endpoint method. So one is a get. If it is a get, it will use a method dot get. If it is post, it will use a post. If it is delete, it will use the delete. If it is nothing, it will just throw out the error message. It's up to you. You want to fail the test right there. You can put some assertion or anything. Um, so here's the get response. This is the method that you'll be using in order to send the request and get the response back to you. So when you get the response back, this log log is going to log the uh, show you the logs and then it will uh, show you the status and then body of the response. So I assume we'll be seeing this right um, for that endpoint specific. Okay, after that, let's go one more down step. Okay, let's go through the quick recap. So I have this. <coughs> set content type I have, I'm setting the type there um, that method is just to get the setter for whatever content type you're using I have another call get request specification this is just going to initialize and get the request uh, for the endpoint you're going to use um, I have get response get response is going to take the request specification and endpoint type based on the input type we are going to send the request uh, and get the response once you get the response it will be get logged into uh, the status as well as the body okay so that's all we're up to here so I'm going to just overload this method okay so which will be okay that's the method just I'm going to overload this so this method I'm going to say so I'm going to set the content type to JSON okay um, and then I would say content type is basically just the audit header right so your request header you want to set that into JSON format so what it is saying is this content I'm sending is going to be JSON and I'll accept them into the same so here response so get response get response is basically the same method I'm going to call this so request is specification now I have it right so request is specification would be the static method uh, static value I have request is spec right and then I have endpoint whatever endpoint I'm going to pass here I'll say okay give me that all I need is the endpoint type right and then I'll be just done there and I'll say okay return so I have the response here so now because I overloaded the same method right I'm going to pass this method values from here and the endpoint type and then I can now overload this now I can use the same method only by passing the endpoint which is going to be a lot easier for me because this is already going to handle by internally calling into this method okay so now we're going to go through the test class so let's go to the test so in the test obviously right you would need to get something called before So in this before you want to get that request specification <laughs> request specification right and then 
we'll just say rest details dot get request is verification I can pass either one but I'll just say endpoint dot get employee right that's the same endpoint we used so let's go ahead and import the this what it is asking here so j unit before okay and then this everything is now imported it's all set okay so we're going to use the same url now we are here and after that we're going to write the test so I'm setting this into before so that before the test runs I want to get this started and get the request specification set up otherwise it will just throw me the null pointer right so public void get info okay our info employee details let's say okay so I'll say response equals get response right and then all I need is the endpoint now right so I would say endpoint okay all I need is that endpoint and it will automatically handle let's import this piece again so rest issued and j init test okay so that's also there now what I want to do is I want to just simply show you how that output would look like now okay so system You cannot just print the uh, response directly you have to convert them into the as a string so then it will be converted otherwise it is just the object okay it's just the JSON object so now you can also print these two things one is I'm going to print that one entire response okay or and then I'm going to print just the body piece okay dot body okay response dot body uh, I think it is a get body We'll see what that body would do, but we'll just use the get body. Okay, so let's get up to this point first and then we'll see how far we go. Okay, I'm going to debug this first and then see. Uh, so to get the recap, I created one endpoints is the enums. All I'm passing is the employee uh, URL with the employee uh, the type, and then I have uh, this endpoint set up uh, as an enum. So I have a getter and setter set up for this enums URL and type. I have the rest utils where I have defined this request uh, rest issue libraries request specification and then response. Okay, these two things I'm using it. Um, and then I created the risk request specification initializing them. I have a set content type where I could content I could save the content types which is here um, and also which is what I'm using here. And also I have this method where I have added the switch cases so based on what I'm passing is going to um, do that okay if it is post it will do post if it's get it will do get so in my test here that endpoint type I'm passing through the test because that is obviously based on the test not that method method is going to be generic it could be used anytime anywhere right so all different types method is not changing only the test is changing so based on this endpoint um, the enum which is what it is going to get okay we have to define what are the difference here so if I need to run this run as jnet okay you see the HTTP 200 200 is the status and then you get the whole thing is a thing right uh, whatever you asked that to print and then you get this uh, the the body so if you want to change this um, to response dot as a string let's comment what this is okay let's see first and then we're gonna go more there okay so this is the uh, entire and uh, entire response so what entire response does is it is going to show you the whole thing right everything so 
it will include entire HTML design so now when you see the body body is what exactly like this looks like so what we printed here right as a body as a response that as a string and that's what we get and you want to see where the body came from body came from where we are logging that into rest utils so rest utils dot log so now you want to see the status that's where the status came from and then this is the body body came here right and then you want to see that as a string whatever response i get as a string into this method which is inside the test right that's what it is whole thing if i want to comment this and i'm sure now it is going to just show me the status and then body let's see okay so you see this here um so here in fact this as a response that as a string is it's going to show me the response and then this body is what is going to show me the entire HTML format so I basically don't even need this um, so this much is okay so it is giving me the status and and this response that as a string sys out is going to print me the response into the string so this is the exactly same thing you would see when you enter this thing into the URL if you see here that when you see this 17736 now if you see here same information is 23 and everything is same right everything same so this is what exactly what we're looking for okay so now if you want to just test this to validate okay you have the response now right you can basically convert this into the JSON string so which will be JSON object and if it is in the already in the json format we can convert that we can pass that along with the json so what i will do here is just the response dot as a string which is the json format i can pass this if it is not then it is going to throw the error for this json object it is the um json right json library right where it is where it is. okay or dot json right or dot json and then now this JSON, this response is into the JSON format. We convert them, right? So now if I want to say employee equals JSON dot get a string, right? Employee name is now I can validate this, right? Employee name. So that's the employee name so I can just do what is the employee name employee name is a test right employee assert equals obviously right so if it assert equals why is it not happy uh, let's see so I think now it will be happy okay it was imported incorrectly so assert or assert equals this is the test this is the message if it fails right you know that an employee so employee is going to be equals to this test so let's see if it fails here it will fail here okay so let's save that and then run this again and I'm sure this is going to pass okay now if you see this is already passed and then it was pretty quick because that's what it is right and then let's see so you have this whole thing uh, the response is there response validated and if you see the test that test, test also pull this information uh, employee name which is the test which is exactly what the response has so what we did is we get the response after we get the response we converted that into the JSON object and then we pulled out once it is a json object which is just key value pair otherwise it is just a string right response is just a string we converted that into the json object 
and key value pair pairing that and after that is just like a hash map now we said okay get me the string of this value and it said okay that's a test and then I can just validate what it should be that's in the real life you'll be doing the test like that okay so I think this is pretty long video but it is worth the watching okay if you if you get any confusion any questions please feel free to add comments and add questions and then you know I'll be more than happy to get through that um, so this is just to show you how you would be automating the get type of request. Uh, we're going to talk more about how to authenticate and how to work with the authenticated uh, URLs and APIs. But this is to get started again. Uh, please continue to follow my videos and we'll add more of this interesting uh, stuff. And we also add most of the uh, post uh, request types. Um, thank you very much everyone for watching this video and please continue to uh, watch my videos and support my channel uh, if you haven't done so please do subscribe my channel and uh, do support thank you very much and we'll uh, see you in the next video thank you